Hey guys, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I am a Squarespace SEO expert and in this video, I am going to be talking all about images and Squarespace SEO in a gallery. So basically, if you have any type of photo gallery, image gallery on your Squarespace website, what you can do to improve the SEO of those images. And that gallery. So here on my YouTube channel and on my blog, I talk lots about Squarespace SEO and web design and development, online marketing and business. So feel free to take a look at the other videos that I have here on my channel or on my blog as well. But in this video, we're specifically talking about galleries and images and Squarespace SEO. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, then you're in the right place and let's get started. So we are going to begin by sharing my screen. And before we take a look at the actual images and go through everything on the back end of a website, I wanted to remind you that I have a free Squarespace SEO checklist that you can download. And I'm going to leave the link to that just down below and you can grab it. It has been downloaded by like thousands and thousands of people. So you're an excellent company with this here. And whether you are an absolute beginner learning about Squarespace SEO for the first time, or maybe you've like dabbled a little bit, but you want to make sure that you haven't forgotten anything or that something has not been left off the list or anything like that, grab a copy of the Squarespace SEO checklist that I have down here. And I know it will help you out and yeah, grab a copy. It's free. Okay. Now let's take a look at galleries on the back end of a Squarespace website. So just for the sake of simplicity, I'm showing you on a um, on my Squarespace website and mine is on version 7.0 um, still, I know. Uh, but if you have your website on 7.1, it, it's basically the same process. So what I wanna show you about how a gallery works, let's take a look at this. So when you have a gallery on your web page, again, this is like really, really, really simple formatting you have the images here, right? And how it works is that when Google is crawling and indexing your page, your web page, your blog post, your product page, whatever it happens to be, they're going to see that you have a gallery that's made up of different images. So when Google lands on this gallery block or function and they see the images, you have to remember that Google can't really like see the images the way that you and I can, right? They can see that it's an image file, but they can't really see the image itself. So they don't really know what the image is. And the only way that they can learn about what the image is, is from the information that you tell them and how you're optimizing the image. So let me show you what I mean by that. You see this image here right now. This is just like a cute little image I found on Unsplash. But look what happens if I right click it. And if I click, let's say like save image as or something, then do you see here, this is the physical file name of the image that opens up again. It's all that like unsplash default image info, right? Whereas this is not really, and like, I'll just show you again, you know, if I save it kind of thing, then if I open it up, so in the downloads, like here it is, right? I think, yeah, there it is. And so this is what Google is seeing in terms of the file name on the image, right? They're not actually learning what the website is about or any information about your brand or your business or something. So in order to actually give that information to Google, when it comes to the image in a gallery, we need to make sure that all of the file names of the image have been correctly named and optimized. And then we need to upload it and maybe replace the images that exist in the gallery currently with those that have been correctly named. So in this case, let's say, you know, in this example, I'm going to just go like, I don't know, like Charlotte O'Hara, pretend I'm a like interior designer in Seattle or something. And then you're kind of like, what is this image again? Armchair um, in front of coffee table with decorations and bouquet in vase or something, right? So I've got kind of a three-part name to the image and then I would click save. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my gallery, right? I'm going to edit the gallery, open it up, edit it or like open it, right? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the old image, so delete it. And now I'm gonna upload 
the same image, but just the one with the better name. Okay. Now I'm going to open that. Click, let's move it to the beginning. One second. It'll just add here. There we go. Let's move it to the start. I'm going to click apply and save. And I'll refresh. And now look what happens if I refresh this page. Okay. Now I can come back here. Oh my gosh, it's so slow because I'm running all the different programs here. And if now I right click and I click save image as, then wow, look, oh my God. Okay, we've got all of that SEO information. It's been correctly named, all of that sort of thing. So this is what you're gonna have to do. Again, I know this is a little bit annoying, but if you want to improve the images SEO, then you do need to rename the physical file name and then upload it again, like replace the existing old image that wasn't named properly and do it that way. And one thing I wanna point out here with the images, again, You'll notice when it comes to, oh, hold on here, Squarespace is just, you know, being chaotic here. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, so if I want to show you something here, and yours might look kind of the same. If I open up the gallery, right, and if I click on this gear icon, right, you'll notice that there's like a section where you can give the image like a title or like write a description or something. And that's a bit more of like what we call the like sort of the alt text of the image. This here in the gallery is not how you change the physical file name that Google will see when it crawls in indexes. So don't make that mistake. Don't just think that you can like write all of that information here in the image title. No, 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 no. You have to rename the physical file name of the image and then do it. And yeah, like again, you can put that information here. So like armchair... Um, in front of marble table with decorations and like bouquet and vase or something, right? You can put that information there as well. That's totally fine. It won't really like, see here, if I refresh it, let me refresh this on this page too, just to show you <laughs> a lot of like showing and stuff here. But you see, it's not like that information really ended up anywhere on the page, right? Like it didn't put it underneath or something. So that's again, why you just want to make sure that the physical file name is done correctly with the images in the gallery. And then, you know, feel free to fill out those image names and all that kind of thing. But the main thing to keep in mind with images in the gallery is how you are naming the physical file in the name of the, or the physical file name of the image, and then replacing it in the gallery itself. So I hope that was helpful and I hope that it showed you how to correctly name the images in a gallery on your Squarespace website, what to do, what all those different fields are and where the kind of like bang for your buck is gonna happen from an SEO perspective. So if you have images on your Squarespace website, I encourage you to go back and make sure that the images, first of all, are correctly named. And if they're not, that's fine, don't worry about it go and rename the physical file and then replace it on your Squarespace website in the gallery. And then that will make sure that you are at a much better place from an SEO perspective. And if you want to learn more about images and SEO, I also have a image guide for Squarespace SEO images. So I will link to that down below and you can take a peek at that. And I have a few other videos about images on my on um, images and Squarespace SEO here on my YouTube channel and on my blog and stuff. So take a look at those. I'll link to some as well down below. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. If you liked it, feel free to like the video, leave me a comment, tell me this was helpful or something that you learned. Um, or if you have any ideas for future videos, leave those as a comment as well. And I'll try to get around to making a video for you about it. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and I will see you again soon in the next one. Bye.